I have found the secret to getting really good in game eight. So we're gonna practice shooting really big targets that don't move. And the real secret here is that we won't move either. Angels, what is going on? The Champ Strider here. And today's video is gonna be all about training our ability to aim while moving or strafing. And if I've learned one thing on the internet since I started doing YouTube, it's that there will always be one salty person in the comments who does not understand that I was joking in my intro. So it is a joke. I do not think Tile Frenzy is the way to go. And I'm not a total Tile Frenzy hater. I do think it has some, some benefits for developing speed or cognitive ability, but it pains my heart that every aim trainer, the majority of the community only trains tile frenzy. So we spend a lot of time in aim training standing still while shooting targets, but in some games like Apex Legends or even Escape from Tarkov, standing still, it's, it's just straight death. And like the best players are able to maintain good aim while AD, AD spamming. And if you played Apex, I think we've all been just crushed by those TTV wraiths who are able to wiggle, crouch, spam, and they hit every headshot. And this is a skill I think we often neglect in our aim training. And something I've been adding more of lately to my own training and I said this in my last video, but I think over the next few years, aim training will progress into more esports simulation training where we try and put players in situations that mirror gameplay as close as possible to isolate specific skills. And this is where I think Kovacs is going with their last patch with all the robot drills that they're implementing. So let's start getting into the best strafing drills in Kovacs and I'll post them down below. And usually we do six exercises five times each, but I actually picked out seven here. So if the routine takes too long, just shorten it by a set or two. So we're gonna start with air dodge, which is a bit longer than our normal Kovacs drill, but gives a real nice variety in bot movement patterns. And this to me is kind of like your core overall movement based tracking development drill. Next, we're gonna move to close fast strafe dodge easy, which this drill is great for practicing burning down those wiggling wraiths in those close range fights where everyone's 80 80 spamming. Next, we have pat target switch dodge 360, which I really like for something like Call of Duty, where if you're a shoot the ship player like me, uh, you're gonna basically never stop moving while flicking around and checking your angle. So this is great practice for scenarios like that. Fourth, we're gonna go to some click time with probably my favorite movement based drill in Kovacs with Passu Dodge Easy. And this drill can be cheesed pretty easily as can some of the others by not actually strafing and just spamming down targets. So don't be that guy that's cheesing for leaderboards because we're training for skill building purposes. So make sure you're wiggling around like you would be in game. Next up, we're gonna hit some of those new drills with robots that I've been talking about so much with Manwing Strafe Gallery version three. Robots, which again, it's a great click timing drill. And if you're looking to get those wingman shots on point, this is really the exercise right here that simulates those situations so, so well. All right, six up, we have auto balance stair dodge robots. Wow, that was a lot to say. Where uh, we practice quickly peeking out and burning down a wiggling robot that actually shoots back. So if you're not wiggling, you're gonna take some damage. And last drill of the routine, we're gonna battle an NPC bot that has a really great movement pattern with closed, fast Coliseum robots. And this is a drill I'm really interested in seeing people grind since the movement patterns and just overall feel, it, uh, it feels very much like a gameplay situation or an actual human player. All right, Angel, so that's gonna bring us to the end of our movement-based playlist, and I really wanna hear from you guys in the comments. How much of your aim training time would you say has been spent practicing movement-based drills? And before you leave, if you haven't become an angel yet, hit the subscribe button so that you can come back for weekly aim training and FPS content. Champ out.